God damn it, I didn't expect the uh the fucking low battery remote to bother me. But welcome back everybody to a brand new episode of Mario Party 8. It has been so fucking long since I've recorded anything Mario Party 8 related. To you guys it may only seem like a couple of days. But for me it has been so long. Um, last time we were here, we have done everything for King Boo's Haunted Hideaway, which is the party mode version of it. Still my favorite in the sense, but meh. Next time, or this time, we're going to be doing Shy Guy's Perplex Express. And this one is still a personal favorite of mine. Oh. Uh. Let's put them on hard again. This for now. Shy Guy's Perplex Express. So close yet so far. Rush to the front of the car to get a star. Simple. Not on this train. This is gonna be a beaut. But Shy Guys Perplex Express is my personal favorite board in Mario Party 8 because of the uh bullshit that can happen within it. <laughs> Who's at the wheel? How long is this train? Are you ahead or behind? Welcome aboard the Perplex Express. Where are we going? Insane! And at the speed of crazy. Yeah, let's see your fuse to the board. So many cars, so much luxury, but what looks like a such a straight run to the front locomotive. It's actually a disorienting trip, and if you somehow reach Shy Guy, he'll give you a star for 20 coins. Basically, it's another of the box standard Mario Party boards, where you get to the end as a, a star. Think of Pagoda Peak from Mario Party 7. Um, Shy Guy Perplex Express is a technically different version of Pagoda Peak or Goomba Booty Boardwalk from this game. And, uh... The only reason why I call this something like that is because the, the premise is simple. Just like that board. We just start from the beginning and we have to get to the end. The only difference between, like, Goomba Booty Boardwalk and Pagoda Peak with this one is that there's not one space that can screw you into getting back to, um... Back to the, uh, I don't know, I'll it again. To the, um... The start. Um, in general, this one has more of a ways to keep you back, but also ways to kick you forward as well at the same time. And basically, Payday Station for this one is one of the better parts of Mario Party. And, uh... Payday Station is our lucky space for this, and one of the most accessible lucky spaces in all the Mario Party. Especially if that car with the, with the space is in the first or second one. Payday Station, just you get to the end of it and you get a free star. And if you're lucky enough, you can keep like going over and over and over with a lot of um I think a lot of gusto with a lot of shit. And a snow way out. I think we've done this one before. If not, I should just actually consider watching my videos again to see which games we have done. But Snow Out's a good one where we just have to just walk around, not get hit, and don't get hit by the ice spots. I usually try to jump out of the way. Before they hit me because it's easy for me. And this is very funny to do, especially if you have a lot of space. Just be careful that the edge has no wall and you'll be able to fall. Also, if I sound a little different in these fast recordings, I'm still trying to mess with my mic settings to make it sound better. And, uh,. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I've just been trying to change my mic settings, make it work, make it feel better. Also, not to directly speak in in front of it, but just to speak in general. 
The only thing that I've done in the meanwhile while trying to wait to record has just been, um, well, edit. And you think I've edited all Marble 8, but I haven't. Am I? Um, whole point of like Shadow Guys for Plexus Press is a very simple one where, well, as you can see, it's just the train station or just the train back and forth. But the difference between this one and the yeah, the difference between this one and the uh, other one is that in Star Battle Arena, there's only three train cars, while this one only has five. And the five different ones are pretty funny. I know the original, we had the fancy car, we had the, one of the Choo Choo concession stands, and I think we had the uh, the dining car. Well, this one, we just get two more, two more coaches to round out the five. Same premise as before. Every happening space, so every happening space has a different one based on where we on. So most, some of them on top will move the train car order. Some of them will make us find the bandit for Miss uh, Polly Koopa, and others are just ways to get in and out. The one in the chef's station is just to go up into the um, top of the car. And that can help you even either getting back to start early or starting your race early and also just screwing you out of the star. Um, others, it's just that. Uh, I know one of them is the where you get hit by the top of the great of the train. Yeah, top of the, you get on the top of the train, you get hit by something. I don't know the actual name of it on a railway. You get knocked back to start if you're in the very front of the car it's very helpful to cost some coins but grabby grid iron from the football game my favorite and uh oh oh dang it Damn it, what the hell? Are you serious? Damn. Alright, I'll take the loss on this one. These were fun. <sighs> they kept grabbing me and I couldn't get a ball in. That don't need an uh from one or more to hard gonna be a good thing. Also in general, just playing these is very funny. Mm. I'm a little tired right now, but uh, not too much else to say it. And so in the meanwhile, when I was just doing no recordings for Mario Party, I had just been editing some small stuff. I know I was editing some of the uh, some, the sunshine things, God, yeah. some of the uh, sunshine uh, the. Uh, Fuck. Wow, I actually do not remember the name of the B. There we go. The B roll. The fucking B roll footage for Sunshine. And I already uploaded them. Those are fun to just edit through. And in general, though, most of the things uh, on that are pretty, like, weird. Um, in those scenarios, basically, if you guys have seen any of my uh, col collab, I call them in quotes, you already know that basically most people in the server just don't take this so seriously and we just speak our mind and shit. So those have been fun to go through, but God, there's just sometimes where I have to censor a lot of stuff. And other things is just that... Um, uh, what, what, what do you call it? It's just a very simple, why am I still, like, doing this stuff of just breeding and going through each of them. Some other stuff is, uh, I've been trying to get back into re-editing some of my old OPs because... What do you call it? 
I know for me, I just edited them pretty badly. Audio mixing was terrible. I do have like a better earbud, which is an in-ear monitor. And, uh, what do you call it? I want to do that again because it, it was fun to just re-edit those. But like, I still am not gonna like export those videos. Yeah, I'm not gonna like export those videos because of um a couple things. One, I want to get better, and two, for like some things like Mario Party 4, Luigi's Mansion, Pikmin, and stuff like that. I want to if there's some infographic I can make for each of them and make it look better, I would make them. But that's just me. Uh, other things about just what I've been doing in the meanwhile is just just more games have come out recently. Luigi's Mansion 2 came out on Switch. So I can actually sit down and plan a Luigi's Mansion LP. Like, instead of a Mansion 1, which I've done so far before, I can actually make a Mansion 2 LP, which is great. Ali Koopa, his candy has been stolen. My only suspect is Bandit. Where did you last see Bandit? I have no idea. Basic, okay. Basically, this one is so you have to find the bandit i was trying to go to the next thing but eh, okay you don't lose anything if you don't get the right one you only get coins out of it if you find the correct one warrior already with a star though jesus i did not expect warrior to get a star that early i also did not expect to get the uh the thing i don't know man. it just feels like i've actually done a recording of this one before it just feels weird I don't know. Probably next turn I'm gonna be going through my files again just to see if I actually have done this and if I'm just wasting my time. It really just feels like some sort of deja vu that I've done a recording of this. I don't know, I've it so long that I don't know what it is. Also, the other thing I've been doing is just that um, on OBS, I've just trying to been learn. I've been trying to learn more of OBS with. Uh, screen trend scene transitions and shit like that and not using like a uh a stream deck but trying to like learn how to switch through different scenes and that's been fun to use anyway speedy graffiti spray paint the shapes carved into stone trace the whole shape don't leave any breaks use the pointer and you hold a or b to spray paint This is going to be a fun one. And let's just say uh, one of the things I love to do with this is just that you draw little circles. You can either trace the whole thing or just keep doing little circles. And the circles actually do help a lot. And, uh... I don't know, it's just pretty funny that it works like that. You could like draw like big circles or you could just shade it in. Yeah, you could like shade it in as well. It's up to you how you want to do it, like actually chase this thing or just keep drawing little circles to fill in the middle or just like gigantic circles to fill it in. It is very funny. Other than that, no, no much else to say. But I will have to check the uh the thing so that might be a small cut in the recording after me checking if this is actually what I'm doing or what I'm not. No, I have checked and it is correct. Hmm, weird. It is correct. This is technically the next board I'm doing. Eh. Probably I'm mistaking it because I am currently editing Shy Guys Perplex Express. Of uh, yeah, I'm technically editing Shy Guys Perplex Express, the uh, Star Battle Arena version, and not the. Party one version. That's probably why. Anyway, nothing much just to say. It's just pretty funny to just go back here, play Mario Party 8. And other things I've been doing in the meanwhile was just that. Um, I've just been going through Excel again. Excel. Basically, I've been going through Google Sheets, making like that tracking sheets, not for like the LPs I've done before, so like Mario Party 9 and Mario Party 4. Um, just stuff in general. So like, if I were to do more collabs with my friends. 
to stat track them and just make more stats easier. Like how TRG used to do it. And that's been fun to do, and also like learning Google Sheets, technically Excel as well, has been a fun experience for me because so much shit that has happened between me like going to it, me learning to it, and other shit like that has technically been the most, not exhilarating experience, but God, it makes me learn more and more that why I understand and love math, but why people just do not like math. But battle game, let's see what we can do here. 30 coins, oh. Hey, so that does put war a dent into Wario's chunk. Okay, okay, okay. 102 coins, I, mean, I actually have to think about this one. What is the game for us today? Aim of the game, fucking perfection. 